What's up, y'all? It is your boy, Mr. Band Clap. We in a building because you're gonna see that I just that I just fixed my truck. So um, what I got going on um, with my ignition is with my ignition. Um, when I put my key in the ignition, um, wait, let me let me start over. <laughs> let me start over. So uh, this is a 2008 Ford Taurus X Select. Um, this is such a hard truck to find um, mechanical tips on because um, so this truck it's, it's, it was supposed to be a Ford uh, freestyle but then they changed it at the last minute to a Ford Taurus X so it's so hard to find um, um, you know mechanic information about it so um, you know I was told that it was the ignition switch that needed to be changed um, because when I crank my car up it, it, it turns on and it starts, but my windshield wipers and my um, AC vent and my heat vent don't cut on until I crank it back a little bit. Like, I'm gonna just, I'm just give y'all a a uh, small example of what I'm what I'm what I mean when I say that. So, I, so the way it will work, I would put the key in the ignition. I would turn it this way to turn it on, but then I had to turn it back just a little bit in order for everything, the heat, the air, the windshield wipers to turn on. And it got to the point where I was doing that for so long that now my car, sometimes it'll cut off while I'm driving because it'll say uh, check system. So I was told that, that I was told that it was the ignition switch that needed to be changed. So this is the old ignition switch. You can see it's extremely worn out it's very worn out there's no videos online of how to get to this so let me just show you what i did so um so this is so this is the piece this is the piece that's usually right here there's a screw right there a screw right there and a screw right there you take those off and then you um, you pull it, you pull it down like that. So then there's a piece like this, and that piece is right here. And then there's another piece up top to hold in the um, uh, the steering wheel. So I took a I took a wrench and um and took those screws off, and then that came off like this. And then you go up to the top. And the thing about it is, I really didn't need to take this top part off. I gotta, I gotta clean off this as well. And uh, this was the wrench that I used for the, the screws on this part. It's a what's this? A seven by thirty-two. And um, I think the other ones. So. The other one was a 932 to take off the screws for for this part that's at the very bottom. These right here at the bottom is 932. So um, I took that out. This is the ignition switch right here. This is the ignition switch. It's literally like right here beside the steering wheel. So all you need is like a knife. It's a you gotta pry that part, pry this this off open like pull that open and then there's another one there's another at the top where you just take your knife and just do like this to pry that open um the ignition switch pops out pops out like this and then you take something to take this out you know this is the new the brand new ignition switch so then you just put it put it in there snug so you can get my knife kind of put that in so it can be so it can be snug all right so now this is the moment of truth i'm about to about to take my
So I'm gonna take my, my battery negative terminal. So, so now my battery is hooked back up. When you're doing electrical things with your truck or with your car, make sure that you take the battery out. You take the uh, negative terminal off the battery. My lights are on. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if it works. Okay. So the other part that they don't tell you about these ignition switches is that you see this is the ignition you see that little that little part right here that little little gray part in the middle that you got to make sure that that is in line with this when you um put your ignition switch in so it's going to be like this so as you can see it's not going to be um the same um thing so so now it's in it's snug everything is snapped on all right so now let's test it <laughs> What's up? Let me check the windshield wipers. Yes! So the windshield wipers work. Let me check the AC. Yup, the AC is working. AC blowing cold. Yes, so we fixed it. So, my friends, this is the Mr. Band Clap tutorial on how to put a ignition switch, how to install an ignition switch on a, a 2008, 2009, 2007 uh, Ford Taurus X Select. Um, I think this works for, uh, to, um, you know, all different Taurus models of this year. And also, um, I think this also works for Ford Freestyles as well. All right, y'all. <laughs> so now I just gotta screw all of this back together and then I'm gonna show you a finished product of, of how that's gonna look once everything is is screwed back on all right so this is this is everything put back together steering uh, steering wheel stuff everything back that's the ignition and it's that I'm gonna crank it up for y'all one last time just so y'all can see that it does work now So, windshield wipers work, the AC works. All right, so this is how to fix a ignition switch on a 2008, uh, 2007, 2008, 2009 Ford Taurus X. Um, also, you can also probably use this for other uh, Taurus models in that year, and also you can probably use this um, you know, with the Ford Freestyle uh, of the same year. All right, y'all.